how construction and capital resource availability drive regional post-disaster housing reconstruction by Srijesh Pradhan and Erin Anderson, Colorado State University. The U.S. residential housing stock is frequently hit by disasters every year, resulting in billions of dollars of economic losses. Re-establishment of the damaged housing stock is very important for long-term community recovery and resilience. However, long-term housing recovery is slow and the outcomes are not uniform across disaster-affected regions. Post-disaster housing reconstruction in the U.S. is a market-driven process where homeowners carry out repairs or reconstruction of the damaged houses using their personal capital and construction resources. In a market-driven environment, the construction and capital resources are the two core resourcing forces that drive the permanent housing reconstruction. On the one hand, the heightened demand for the reconstruction must be met by the supply of labor and materials from the regional construction industry supply chains. On the other hand, the socioeconomic status of households act like a catalyst that either favors or constrains homeowners from acquiring capital resources. These resourcing forces are composed of multiple factors, called the resourcing factors, which can be tracked and measured to access construction and capital resource availability. Despite the critical role of resource availability, there is a lack of quantitative studies to understand how resource availability influences housing reconstruction outcomes at a regional scale. So we address this gap by our first research question. How do pre-disaster construction and capital resource availability influence regional post-disaster housing reconstruction outcomes? The role of geography has been largely ignored in existing literature. Since the driving resourcing forces such as construction capacity and socioeconomic characteristics vary geographically across the U.S., we intend to figure out how does the relationship between pre-disaster resource availability and post-disaster housing reconstruction outcomes vary across region. We answer the first research question using ordinary least squares regression and the second research question using geographically weighted regression. The Northeast Census region of the U.S., comprising of eight disaster-affected states, was used as a case study region. This region was hit by some of the catastrophic weather-related disasters during the year 2011 and 12. Some of the examples include Hurricane Sandy and Hurricane Irene. Data was collected at the county level for this study region. Construction resourcing factors were measured on the basis of the location quotient of the economic metrics of the North American Industry Classification System based industry sectors. Location quotient quantify how concentrated an industry is within the region compared to the national average. Labor resourcing factors were indicated by the location quotient of annual average employment of the construction sector and annual average labor establishment of specially trade contractors involved in the construction of buildings. Material resourcing factors was measured based on the location quotient of annual average wholesale establishment of durable goods, which includes construction goods such as lumber, wood, masonry, and so on. Data was collected for the pre-disaster year 2010 from the Quarterly Census of Labor and Wages published by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Capital resourcing factors were measured for owner-occupied household based on the socioeconomic indicators. For example, income was defined as the median household income of owner-occupied households in U.S. dollars. Education was defined as the percentage of owner-occupied households with an educational attainment of bachelor's degree or above. Mortgage was defined as the percentage of owner-occupied household with a home mortgage. Data was collected for the pre-disaster year 2010 from the American Community Survey published by the U.S. Census Bureau. Reconstruction outcomes were measured based on the person change in median home values from pre-disaster year to post-disaster year. Previous case studies have shown that the housing reconstruction is usually completed within a time frame of two years. So for counties that were hit by disasters in 2011, the changes in median home values were measured from the year 2010 to the year 2013. For some counties hit by disasters both in 2011 and 2012, one additional reconstruction year was added. Changes in home value capture long-term reconstruction trajectory and it was expected that households with access to construction and capital resources were able to repair their homes quickly, thereby improving their home values deteriorated by disasters. Data was collected from the American Community Survey from the year 2010 to 2014. 
We use the Geographic Information System or GIS software for data organization and analysis. County level data was imported to ArcGIS Pro software and linked to the polygon shape files of each county. The global OLS model was specified using the equation as shown in the screen, where reconstruction indicates the outcome variable measured as a percent change in median home value from pre disaster year to post disaster year. Construction represents a set of predictor variables indicating labor and materials. Capital represents a set of predictor variables indicating socioeconomic indicators. The regression coefficients of the OLS remain constant for the entire study region and hence are called global regression coefficients. The GWR model is a local model which extends the OLS regression by adding a location parameter, allowing the regression coefficients to vary across the study region. The regression coefficients are functions of geographical coordinates of the centroid of each county and hence are called local coefficients. GWR estimates these coefficients by using a wagging function that is centered on a target county. Locations near to the target county will have more influence on the estimation of the regression coefficients compared to the locations that are far away. With an adjusted R-square value of 0.58, the OLS model explained about 58% of the variation in median home value growth rate through construction and capital resourcing variables. All the variables were found to be statistically significant. Construction labor employment and wholesale establishment were positively correlated with reconstruction outcomes while labor establishment was negatively correlated. Education was positively correlated while mortgage and income were negatively correlated with reconstruction outcomes. The GWR model gave an adjusted R-square value of 0.79, which was a significant improvement over OLS model. It is to notice that the OLS gave one coefficient for each variable, which remained constant for the entire study region. However, GWR produced a range of local coefficients for each variable based on their geographic location. The change in both the magnitude and the direction of the coefficient suggests that the relationship between resourcing factors and reconstruction outcomes varied across the study region counties. The findings show that an increase in pre-disaster regional labor and material resources help in the swift post-disaster housing reconstruction. The GWR model informed us for the first time that the influence of construction resourcing factors on housing reconstruction outcomes vary geographically across the disaster-affected counties. GWR maps reveal that in most of the disaster-affected counties, housing reconstruction outcomes were strongly influenced by pre-disaster construction labor employment and material wholesale establishment. Also, the resources located in neighboring counties are crucial in shaping the reconstruction outcomes in adjacent disaster-affected counties. Construction resources are limited, so instead of focusing on the entire region, reconstruction stakeholders can use GWR maps to identify those counties that are more vulnerable to reconstruction delays resulting from the inadequate availability of construction resources. Vulnerable counties are those counties where the GWR coefficients are the strongest such that any change in pre-disaster regional labor and material availability in those counties will have a very strong repercussions on reconstruction outcomes. Until now, only anecdotal evidence had linked the differential recovery patterns to local socioeconomic conditions. However, this study revealed that the influence of socioeconomic conditions on reconstruction outcomes vary geographically. This helps in explaining why the housing reconstruction outcomes are not uniform across disaster affected regions. As educated households get more opportunities to access the capital resources, regions with higher number of educated households experience swift reconstruction. It was found that the regions with more unpaid home mortgages had a slower reconstruction as it adds an additional financial burden on homeowners. While the global model shows negative correlation between income and reconstruction outcomes, the GWR model showed positive correlation in some counties. Hence, it is very important for policymakers to incorporate regional construction resources and socioeconomic conditions to wider local policies to build disaster resilient communities. Global statistics like OLS may help the decision makers in accessing the critical resource in bottlenecks for housing reconstruction. However, inferences solely based on global results may not be suitable in specific local settings as revealed by this case study. GWR map is a powerful visual tool for informing disaster mitigation policies at a local scale. Future research will identify and map the resourcing bottlenecks 
prison across other disaster affected regions of the US.